Hello today guys, we're going to be covering five Netflix anime that you need to watch. These are not necessarily for the most veteran weeaboo out there, but most certainly for if you are a newer weeb, a weeblet, you should definitely watch these shows and I definitely recommend them. But stick around and we'll talk about those five. But a quick disclaimer first, that all these anime may not be available in your region. I live in the UK and they're all available for people in the UK at the time of filming this, but depending on licensing issues... This may change depending where you live or at the time you watch this. These anime are in no order of greatness, but I highly recommend you watch them all if it's something you think is interesting. So the first show on this list is Space Dandy. Space Dandy is probably one of my favourite shows that like that are on Netflix in total. It's one of the shows I watched when I was getting more serious about anime. I think it's a really good starting point for anyone who is coming from more of a more adult TV, like, television background, and it's new to anime. So if you like things like um, Archer, Family Guy, you know, it's got more of that Adult Swim vibe. Also, the dub's really good, and I don't care what you say. Dubs are valid. <laughs> so anyways, this show is basically about our main character, Space Dandy and his tour of the universe, basically meeting all sorts of aliens and going on all sorts of adventures. One of the um, sidekicks for Space Dandy is a cat-like alien named Meow, which I think is perfect. If you already don't like the idea of this awesome sci-fi comedy anime, may I mention that um, some of the people that worked on Cowboy Bebop have actually worked on this show. The second season of Space Dandy also doesn't disappoint. It's not as good as the first, but if you like the first, you definitely like the second, and I, oh, I truly recommend this as a good show. The second show on this list is One Punch Man. Now, this is a show you've probably heard. I've probably seen posters for this. It's more of that, um, it's kind of sitting in with that Shonan crowd, even though I think it's like 24 episodes. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's 12. I feel like it's 12, but it could be 24. <laughs> Either way, it's an exciting, fun time for anyone who loves action packed comedy anime and also kind of into superheroes. This is a great choice for you. Another thing to mention about this show, it does live up to the hype. I know I'm always kind of a, uh, for people who know me more, um, I'm kind of always um, suspicious of hype. I always don't think a lot of things live up to the hype and are overrated or people get onto it but they haven't seen a lot of other anime so they call it the best anime of all time but it's not really. But this is, really is a great anime. So our main protagonist of One Punch Man is called Saitama. And Saitama has one dream and that dream is becoming a hero. So he trains relentlessly for three years to become like super strong and the result of that he gains a chrome dome. But after a while... Life brings him a cyborg named Genos. What, Genos? Yeah, I'm sure it's Genos. But, anyways, this uh, this cyborg wants them to join the Hero Association because that way they can be truly, he believes they can truly be recognised as true heroes. Genos wants, also wants to become the disciple of Saitama after witnessing his awesome powers and really wanting to be like him. Talking of certified, if you could certify anime, I, if I worked at Rotten Tomatoes, I'd certainly give this a certified fresh and a definite recommend to anyone who just looks at the show and thinks that looks interesting. It's a must watch. So the third show on this list is Toradora. I do believe Toradora is a modern staple. It's one of the older shows on this list. I think starting in 2008. And it has about 20 seconds. Yeah, 24 episode runtime. This is a slice of life rom-com anime. If this isn't t the typical type of anime you normally watch. I definitely recommend you just give this one a try. There's a reason it started in 2008. And it's still a modern staple of well, a staple of modern anime it truly is like i think it's a perfect anime and a perfect introduction to the slice of life genre if you haven't ever dabbled in it before so the main character of toradora is a guy called i'm going to call him the second name is um takasu or yeah takasu i'm not going to try and pronounce his first name because uh, i'd butcher it and yeah but yeah, basically this guy is a gentle guy in the likes of... Um, he takes pride in doing things like housework and stuff like that. But because of his face, people often stay away from him because they believe he's uh, like a delinquent. It's just proof you should never, you know, judge a book by its cover. And our second main character, because there are two main characters to this story, is Tiger. A short and cute girl, but is very... <laughs> Very fire and passionate, and is equipped with a wooden katana. And the other thing about Tiger is, especially if you want to learn a bit of anime history, is she is what most people would co commonly agree on is a tonsadere, or tonsadere. 
I don't want to get pronunciations wrong. He's, he's have a go at me in the comments. But the story of Toradora starts when our two main characters cross paths and they get to know each other over a little bit of time and actually find out that they actually each have a crush on each other's best friend. So, so they try and make that work so they can both hook up with each other's partner. I shouldn't say hook up. I should get, it's a day. <laughs> it's not that type of anime. It's not, it's not one of those shows, guys. It's not High School DxD or a harem or something. But, you know, it's a good story. It doesn't end how you think it would end. But the fourth anime on this list is one of my... It's one of those I didn't listen to people. And it's kind of, I believe it's kind of slept on in the anime community. People watched it. But it's not that underrated. But I think it's one... Not a lot of, doesn't get enough attention. Doesn't get enough love. And that is the disastrous life of Psyche K. So if you go on Mal and look at this show, you're going to see it says, it says something like 120 episodes. Don't worry. It's not 120 episodes on Netflix. They've actually condensed it down into, I think, 24. It's like, because the, the original run in Japan is like five minute episode blocks, I think, you know, between different shows. But this anime is a supernatural slice of life comedy. It's really good. And I kind of really vibe with the protagonist. And the reason I vibe with this protagonist, not because of his abilities, his abilities are range from x-ray vision to telepathy. And he, you know, he just wants to, he just wants to live life under the radar. He doesn't want a lot of attention. He just wants a peaceful, quiet life. And I, I can fully vibe with that life. But unfortunately, life had different feel different ideas for our protagonist psyche and he always gains attention from people that he doesn't really want to gain attention from and often at least the shenanigans and stuff and that is how we end up with our story but yeah highly recommend it it's not a hard anime to watch it's kind of one you can just put on. i don't even really think you need to watch it in order there might be some episodes i think that may link together but other than that once you understand the basic fundamentals of the show you can watch anything it's really good though I haven't watched the second season, so I can't vouch for that one like Space Dandy. Go watch it. So the fifth and final show on this list that I want to talk about is Agretzko. Now, Agretzko is probably the most, the newest anime on this list, with it coming out in 2018. Now, one of the most interesting things for people who want to know like a little bit extra about anime is this is actually an OAM, which stands for Overnet Animation. I believe this is because it was a Netflix exclusive. There is like another one on my list that is... Um, in Japan but I think that was maybe something different or maybe the Netflix one is all put together or like edited this is another one though with a really good dub and yeah dubs aren't as bad as people th think anymore what the stereotypes come from all the 90s dubs a lot of people just have um, PTSD from uh, ghost stories that's a, <laughs> that's a really bad dub if you if you ever want to watch it's hilarious but it's bad so a great score is made by a company called Sanrio if you haven't heard of Sanrio, they are famous for creating things like Hello Kitty and Pom Pom Purin. And Agretzko has more of a different art style compared to typical anime. But don't let that sidetrack you. It's still anime. It's still good. So instead of most anime featuring something like a high school setting, this features an office setting. So the main protagonist of our show is Agretzko, a red panda. Everyone in this show is some sort of animal. Typically um, animals that aren't necessarily in the west unless you go to a zoo and then you'll find you'll find a red panda uh, but yeah she works in an office environment she is at the bottom of the ladder she's often staying late at night picking up the slack of her higher ups that are just being lazy but retsuko has a secret and that secret is how she relieves stress and it's one of the more one of the more bigger parts of the show and that's because she likes to go to karaoke and sing death metal to let out the stress. But there is also other interesting characters in the show worth mentioning. One of them is her hyena co-worker, Hida, who has a crush on her. The other one is Fenico, a social media addicted fox. <laughs> Along with uh, her awful uh, pig of a boss, who's literally a pig. And he also has like a suck up that is also really annoying. I think he's a meerkat actually. I honestly can't remember, it's been like a year since I've watched the show, but it's really good, it's worth binging. I think the episodes are actually slightly short, I think about 15 minutes each. So if you are into short anime, I don't have as much time, it's perfect for watching. And I haven't watched beyond the second season, other than the Merry Metal, I think it's called Merry Metal Christmas, that was a good, that was a good OVA, or, I don't know if that's an OVA, 
I don't know if this is what people call them OVAs, but I think you know, because that means your video. Went... Never mind. <laughs> that is a, maybe an episode for another day. But I hope you found something on this list that does sound interesting to watch. I recommend all these. I've seen all these shows, and I think they're all good places to start in anime or just good shows to watch if you haven't. If you slept on these shows, go and watch them. If it's not a genre you typical watch, go and watch it because you don't know if you like it till you try it. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.